there. The international flight campaign has again officially begun um, again we started December the first. And there's a ninety day boot camp that will actually take the place until February twenty eighth. You know, guys, we will have webinars, we will have different trends, we will have conference calls, we'll have different things to get you started. But guys, we're gonna build a strong foundation. And this if this is your first one, we're not gonna do a really long review. We did record the last uh, ISC campaign, so if you don't have the recording, I'll tell you how you can get that later. Having said that, guys, what I do want you to understand is this is a 90-day boot camp. As I said earlier, uh, why I'm excited about the international uh, flight campaign, uh, again, I, I always, every time I get this one, I want to give credit to uh, Ms. Trudy Scott and Ms. Ruth Washington for sharing this vision with me, and I embraced it as my own. And guys, we're launching this, and I'm excited because 90 days, your life will change. You know, there's a business boot camp, and it's designed to instruct you, to motivate you, to demonstrate step by step and show you what to do. So again, we thank you for taking time out to schedule, guys. But I can tell you right now, our expectations, everybody who goes to this boot camp, uh, Tracy, at the end of 90 days, guess what? We'll become an international objective. Some of you will hit it in, in 30 days because you're further. Some will take 90 days. And guess what? Everybody who participates in the boot camp will graduate. What I'm excited about is you'll be getting that $600 monthly stipend. So I do want to give a quick review. Every time I do the, uh, uh, the ISC campaign, a portion of it will be focused on your mindset. It will be really established, and then we'll get into some of the things that you need to do. Uh, you did have some homework, and we will go through it. I'm going to uh, uh, talk to each and every one of you. But we're going to focus on results. That's what separates the IFC. You know, many people are in vacation and they're doing vacation, but the IFC really focuses on results. And as you said, the spring, much like if you hire a trainer to help you with your fitness goals, or you help a financial coach to help you get out of debt, or you help a fire hire an attorney to do estate planning, guys, their job is there to help you reach your goals. They're there to stretch you, to push you, to challenge you. They're going to ask you to do things that may not be comfortable, but guess what? The end result, you're going to like the results. So in the ISC, we're raising the bar, we're raising the standard. You know, uh, again, one of the things that we're doing is we want you to raise your expectations. It's much like a thermostat in your house. When you set the thermostat to a certain temperature, whether you want the house to get warmer, you want it to get cooler, you know, that, that, that it begins to raise. It begins to, I mean, your, your thermostat begins to work. Everything in begins to work to get it to that, that temperature. But once it gets to that temperature, guess what? It shuts down. And most time, what happens is most of us have set the limit too low. And so guess what? Because we have low expectations, because we have low uh, uh, goals, <laughs> we shut down. And that's why you had to get international executive. And guys, we're going to show you an IFC. We don't want you to do your best. We want you to do what's required. So what we understand is you can't do minimum effort and expect maximum results. And so we talk about raising your expectation, guys. But just like when your children go to school, you expect them to graduate. And so I, we expect everybody who's enrolled in the ISC to graduate. So again, I'm telling you, over the next 90 days, you are going to get promoted. Uh, and that's my expectation. I need that to be your expectation. And so just a couple more things I want to cover, and we're going to get into your, your results. I mean, into what you had to do. Guys, like I said, <clears throat> the major difference between the ISC is we're going to hold you accountable. We're going to hold you accountable uh, in, the, in the international flight campaign. That's the biggest difference. You're going to be held accountable. And so, guys, we're not making excuses. We discovered you can make excuses, you can make money, but you can't make both. And so what we're going to focus on in the IFC campaign is, guys, we want to show you how to make money. We want to show you how to build a business. We're not going to focus on excuses. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but I can tell you this is going to be worth it. So I want to do this because the challenge in most people, they have a gambler's mentality. And they say, Shutter, what do you mean a gambler's mentality? They want something for nothing. Guys, you invested $25 to get into the IFC, but Ms. Noble, what's going to happen is you're going to get so much more. See, Mar Marcy, what I want people to understand is the gambler's mentality is I don't want to do nothing, but I'm expecting to get something. And that doesn't work. So, guys, I'm going to tell you up front, a lot of people, they don't want to improve, but they want to get better. It, that doesn't work. They, they don't want to read the books. They don't want to get on the IMB. They don't want to challenge themselves. And I'm, I'm going to put some expectations on things that you're going to have to do. But, guys, it's not going to happen. You're going to have to improve. You're going to have to self-develop. People want to make more money, right? They want to make more money, Ms. Hughes, but they don't want to set appointments. They don't want to go out and talk to people. That can't happen. See, see that's what I want to say. People, they, they, they want people to follow them. They want people to they, they want people to say, man, I want to build a team, but they don't want to address the success or they don't want to come to meetings. They don't want to show up, but yet they want to build a team. 
See, people say, I want to build a team, but they don't want to contact the team except for when their site goes down. See, guys, those, that's a game from college. You don't want to do your part. You want something for nothing. And, and, and I don't know somebody on this line, but I want to let you know success is predictable. It's, it, it, it's simple things done over a consistent period of time. And it becomes a habit. So, Latasha, what happens is we understand if you want to, if you want more, you got to be willing to do more. You got to be willing to come more. And so, this is a self-development program with a high compensation plan attached. And I want you to understand what you focus on grows. If you focus on yourself and focus on growing, your finances will grow, your team will grow. Everything around you will grow because you focused on it. Now, <clears throat> I initially told you with some documents, and I, and I told you, but the thing I realized is. I want to be the example. I don't want to. I don't want to have you do anything I don't show you. I don't want to have you do anything that I don't go over with you. So, one of the things that uh, uh, we were working on is instead of sending out emails, we're working on putting everything up on the site to make it more efficient. We want to be efficient. So, guys, I thank you for your patience. And what I mean by that is, a lot of times I set expectations, but when I think about it, I'm saying, you know what? That's not necessarily the best way, or the most efficient way. So, I appreciate your patience. And so, I got a lot of emails saying I didn't get my documents, and you were 100 percent right. But I, uh, when I was coming back from Miami, you know, I realized, I said, you know what, that's not going to allow us to be efficient. So I just got to get these documents completed, and they will be uploaded on the site. And so some of you have gotten a commitment of success when we first started, some of you haven't. But I'm going to share with you what the commitment of success says. I'm going to read it to you. And what it says is I promise to lay it on the line, to give it my all. I commit to myself and to be the very best that God's created me to be. I understand in life that we'll have ups and downs. and the highs and lows. I will not wish it would be easier, but I will become better. I understand success is a process and not a destination. So although I'm going to experience setbacks, call life. Guys, I promise myself not to quit or give up on such a great God-given opportunity of vacation travel. I'm going to discipline my disappointment. I'm going to overcome my fears. I'll get over what others think about my success. I'm going to embrace my success, and I'm going to learn from my mistakes. I will be teachable. I'm going to remain coachable at all times. Although I'm going to be challenged, and ask to step out of my comfort zone. Yes, indeed. I will not get in the fence. I understand that being a part of the international flight campaign will be intense and challenging. I see as a journey and not given to the person that finishes the quickest, but to the one who endures and maintains consistently until the end. I am an ISC and I am a vacation travel for the long haul. I'm committed to the ISC campaign, and I'm focused on helping my team and fulfilling my purpose. I will not stop until we win. I promise myself and my teammates that I will not quit, and I will keep going even when times are difficult. So listen. Despite family, despite financial problems, despite friends, foes, even death, I will stay the course and I promise to be here 18 months from now. Listen, it says, I will operate and promote my business with integrity. I will do the right thing because it's right. I will work on my weaknesses and enhance my strengths. I will become educated about my business. I will be on guard for new partners. I will overcome and face my fears. I will avoid complaining. I will avoid murmuring. I will avoid negative thinking and negative talking at all costs. As a part of the team, I want to, I'm going to have a service heart a positive attitude, and, and, and I'll have fun and pray for my leadership, as well as those who are above me and beneath me. Guys, what am I saying? That? That's the commitment of success. And what you're going to discover is every document that I send you, every document, or every document I have you download, I'm going to go over it first. I'm going to tell you how to use it. I'm going I'm, I'm to go over it. Send me the same download this. No, 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 no. We, we, I see. So this is a commitment to you. Your commitment of success is to yourself. But guys, I want to be able to hold you accountable. And so one thing I'm asking everybody who's a part of ISC to Guess what? I read it to you so you understand what the expectations are. You understand that life's going to happen. It's going to happen when ISC starts. It's going to happen. Guess what? Just because you got an ISC don't mean that you're going to have more stuff coming at you now. But I need up front for you to make a commitment. So I need up front for you to say, you know what? I'm going to commit and I'm going to do these 90 days. I see. And you can't get, you can't quit. Now, you can't be put out of the ISC. You can't get put out of the ISC, and that's if you don't do the minimum standards. But I need you to understand you got to sign a commitment of success. Uh, once it's uploaded, you got to send it in. Now, the reason why you're going to find the, the, the commitment of success is because your why. And I'm a firm believer your why is what has you or who has you. I, I don't know why you're doing vacation. I don't know why you want to be international. I don't know why. You know, yes, you may want to make a lot of money. Yes, you may want to, you know, your children may be getting ready to go to college or your, your parents may be retired. I don't know why. But it has to be bigger than money. Now, please understand this. We're doing this for money. But your why has to be so much bigger than just money. Money is an amplifier. It's going to magnify and it's going to amplify. So, you know, it's going to only take on the person who has it. And each of you on the line are good people. Many of you I've met, some of you I haven't met. 
But guys, money is an amplifier. So yes, you need money. Yes, I know you say, oh, I like to make ten thousand a month, fifteen, twenty, a hundred. I get it. Well, why? See, until you ask that question, until you can determine why you need it, until you can determine why, you, you just you, you'll go through the motions. But you got to know why. So what I need you to understand is that's why you're going to sign a commitment of success. And the reason you're going to stay committed is because you're why. That's the reason you do it, not the reason not to do it. See, I see so many people who they let their why be their why not. And so let's move on. Guys, one thing that you're going to do, there's a form that I'm finishing up tonight, and it's your dreams, your heart's desires. I'm reading this, I read the Side Edge book, and in this book it, it broke down different areas and asked this question. What are your dreams for, your health? What are your dreams for, your spiritual? What are your spiritual life? What's your dreams for, your relationships, your finances, your business? So ask this question, and you can write this down. What, what are your dreams for, blank? And, and you fill in the blank. And see, what you want to do is you want to be specific and vivid. And you want to write down with a timeline. See, you can't be vague. you got to be specific. you, you got to be detailed. Now, the question we told you last week or well, Monday, you got to be willing to sacrifice. What price am I willing to pay? Guys, success has to be paid for in advance. It has to be paid for. You know, now, what day do I plan on starting? We already started because we're part of ISC. But, guys, you're going to have to go do your dreams and goals. I know you say most people have stopped dreaming. Now, let me help you with this. I had a great discussion with one of the top leaders in the company, and, and she, she told me, she said, shut up, a lot of people don't even have dreams. And we had a great discussion, so I beg to differ. Now, your dream may not be to be a millionaire. Your dream may be, I just want to be able to pay my bills. I want to get these people to stop calling me. See, it may not what motivates you. may not be to be a, a millionaire. Your, your desire may just be, I need to get out of debt. I need to get this pressure off my neck. I need to get these bill collectors paid. That may be your dream right now, and your dreams can continue to change. But guess what? We all have dreams. Now, some of, them have, some of us are living nightmares. But guess what, guys? you got to know what your dream is. you got to know why you're doing it. Now, I don't care what you're going through. So you may be going through the, your, 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 before you get to the promise, you may go through your pit. You may go through your prison. You may go through these different areas, but you got to focus on where you're going, the palace. And having said that, what price are you going to pay? See, I know, I know you want to talk about, oh, I made my list. Oh, we're about to go over that. But see, you, there's some things before we get to that. And, and the first thing is you got to make up in your mind, we got to have a commitment up front. You see, the commitment comes up front. It ain't, well, I'm going to try it. We ain't trying nothing. Let me explain this to you. And to me, that's a, that's a cuss word. When people say, I'm going to try, you're going to do it or you ain't going to do it. You don't try to do anything. You're going to do it or you're not going to do it. So up front, we ask for the commitment up front. Once it's up, sign the document, and you're going to be able to send up and upload. You ain't going to do all this scanning. You're just be able to enroll it, sign it, and guess what? So that's one thing. Number two, once we do that, I need to know your why. And that's going to be between your success coach and you. But guess what? Why are you doing this? Not why somebody else, not why Donald, not why, why you? Why you? And see, that it's going to be attached to your dreams. And see, guys, your dreams, yes, I understand you're going to have dreams for the business. You want to be diamond. You want to be, I get that. But you got to be balanced. You got to have dreams for your, and desires for your health, spiritual, for your relationships, for your family, for your finances, your business. It, it can't just be one-sided because guess what? Just, let's say you become successful in your business, but then your, your family suffers. Was you successful? No. But let's say you're successful, guess what, and all of us are going through this. We all have to, guess what, make decisions, health, spiritual, relationships, that we all going to do this. But we got to ask, what price am I willing to pay? You know, what is the one daily discipline I'm going to commit to? What am I going to do daily? See, guys, we're all going to continue to self-develop and become better. I want you to stand up front. you got to, we got to know your why. you got to know your golden dreams. It's not just... Oh, I'm doing this because I want to make money. Yes, you're going to make money. I promise you. You're going to make this $600 a month, but it's got to be so much bigger than that. And the reason I'm going over this with you is because when you bring new people in, you got to go over the same thing with them. You have to be willing to, guess what, slow down. Yes, I know you bring them in, but you got to slow down and go through the same things I'm going over with you. We're getting you trained. We're getting you equipped. And this is what I want you to do. I want you to commit to the same thing. You know, we're going to record it so you'll have to go over it. But guess what? All the documents you'll have. You, you're going to be the ones teaching this to your team. And the reason you're going to be able to teach it to your team that's not in the eyes is because you're going to do it. You're not going to ask your team to do what you're not doing. You're going to do it. And because you're doing it, you're going to be able to expect from them to do it. See, that's the whole concept. So you say, well, my team didn't make it. I don't care. You made it. And if you're in here, your responsibility is to get the information and do it. And now that you're doing it, you apply it. And now you go share it with those people who you brought in. You share it with the new people. It don't matter what happened in the past. It's what we're going in the future. So, guys, you got to have dreams. What's your heart's desires? Don't be scared to, to dream. Don't be scared to proclaim it. Don't be scared to, to share it. But you got to have dreams, and you got to be, be specific. you you got to be vivid. you got to write it down. 
You're going to create a dream book. You know, I, I promise you, I want, we're going to have a dream book, right? You, you're going to determine what price am I willing to pay for my dreams. You know, what am I willing to sacrifice? What am I willing to give up to get my dreams? What, what am I going to start? Well, we already started, but guess what am I going to start? And what daily discipline am I going to commit to? So, guys, again, this is just the, the beginning part. Now, it's your mindset. We're all done with mindset. And so I'll get a couple points, and then this is going to be a short lesson because we're going to open up and we're going to talk about those who did your list, how many you got, so get, get ready. Now, having said that, we have to renew our mind. You know, one of my favorite passages, one of my favorite Bibles says that we'll be transformed. You want our business to change. I want to change, Shepard. I want things to change. Well, that's transformation. You want things to change. Well, the change comes from the renewing of your mind. you got to change what you think. Your level of thinking have got, has gotten you to where you are. So if you want to change where you are, you've got to change the way that you think. So guess what? You're going to have to set goals. You, you know, but most people don't know how to set goals. So if you want more than if you want more than you currently have, if you want to accomplish more, you got to have challenging goals. Now, let me make sure you understand the difference. Your dream is the destination. Your heart's desire is the destination. That's, that's, the, that's the where we're going. That's where we're going. People say financial freedom. Well, what does financial freedom mean? When I, when I say be vivid, be specific, how much is that specific? Like, you ever listen to Mr. Bradley? He said he wants to make 83300 a month. You see, see, he's specific. You know how much he needs to make per month, how much that is a week is specific, it's vivid. So you're going to be doing the same thing in different areas of your life, health, finances. Now, that's the dream. What's the goal? The goal is the day-by-day -day operate. How are we going to get there? The goal is the plan of action of how you're going to get there. So they go hand in hand. You, you can't have dreams without goals, but you can't have goals without a dream. You need them both, but they are different. And so if you want more, you've got to have goals, and your goals is what's going to demand a change. See, when you look at your goals, what's going to happen is your goals are going to keep you focused. When you have specific, when you have goals, which we're about to go in fact, I mean, like meaningful goals, guys, that's what's going to make you stay focused on, on, on what you need. That's what's going to keep you committed. It's because you have goals. You have something that, see, things are going to come up and try to try to get you to alter your goals. But it's your meaningful goals that's going to keep you focused. And, and so if you don't change, you won't be successful, guys. Your goals are what's going to demand your change. The goals are what's going to make you do it. Like, you got to have meaningful goals. So let's move on. This is a, a sheet that you will upload. It's called SMART Goals. Now, the SMART Goals, it's two pages. And what it is is you list, it has different areas of your life, spiritual, on the left-hand side, it has spiritual, family and friends, business, uh, professional, health, finances, uh, material, and leisure. So it has different areas down the left-hand side. At the top, it has specific, meaning like you see it on what does it mean to be specific to each area. Measurable, you know, action plan. You want a full description. Uh, realistic is the R. So you go across. Now, what you're going to do is on a separate sheet of paper, this is to guide you. But you're going to be specific, and you're going to write out your goals. This is this is a homework assignment. You know, we we got to get it uploaded, but this is going to be a homework assignment. Now, what happens is the E is your expectation, you know, and then the R is revelation in terms of write down your affirmations to support your goals. And so this is really exciting, guys. We break down and and, and with this, you're going to be able to be specific. I mean, it, it's going to you're going to have to do some self reflection, some self. You're probably going to say, I've never done this before. And it's not going to be as easy. This ain't, I'm trying to get you to rush. I'm not trying to get you to rush until you got to have it done by Friday. No, no, no. This is something you really have to work on. This is something you got to get excited about, about really knowing where you're going. you got to really, really lock in. And, and, and we're going to talk about talking to people. I know you're, oh, sure, I want to talk to people. Okay, what not? No, 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 you missed it. you got to have a foundation first. Well, see, once we get you started, you're going to be talking to everybody. But if you don't have these things in place first and foremost, you ain't going to be equipped to talk to nobody. When somebody says, no, you're going to get discouraged. You're going to want to quit. But when you focus on your goals and your dreams, when you know why you're doing this, when you got specific, measurable goals and you know, attainable, guys, you don't care what nobody thinks because you got goals to obtain. I need you to understand. I, I need to explain this so you understand it, not just me give you stuff. No, no, I want to take the time, and I'm open up for questions. Trust me. But I need to be very specific that your goals, it's like the roadmap. If, if my desire was to get to Alabama, I have to get on the road. The, the goals are the mile markers. The goals, see, one goal may be, you know, if I'm brand new in the business. A business goal may be, you know, I'm going to hit executive. That's a goal. Guess what? So i got to be specific. It's got to be measurable. i got to put action to it. It's got to be realistic, timely. It's got to win. And, and so guess what? Then another goal may be to hit regional executive. Those are goals. Those are mile markers. 
So we know that in order for you to become international, you have to sponsor a minimum of 15 people, but we're going to do 20. We know that you have to help three people become, but if you got people doing the same thing you're doing, it's going to happen, right? And that's why I know in 90 days you're going to be international. I know that. Some of you are going to hit diamond, but guess what? That's you got to have goals. So this is going to be a homework assignment you got to do. Again, it's going to be uploaded. So once it's uploaded, all you got to do is download, and you got to put this out. I'm not putting a two-day date on it. I'm not putting a, it's got to be done tomorrow. No, 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 no. I want you to really think about this. I really want you to focus on it. I really want you to take some time. And if you do the foundation, the people that do this and don't cheat on it and don't try to just do it for the sake of rushing, the people who take their time to do this will be so successful because they'll never lose focus of why they're doing this. Now, let's pick up where we left off. We asked you when we left, we said, we want you to make a list of resources. Here's what I need you to understand. In network marketing, you don't need capital, you need people. So many people think, I need money. No, 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 no. You need a list of resources. You need people. Your list is gold. Imagine, you know, uh, I heard a great leader say this. He said, imagine that you were open up in a stadium where you had a truck that came by, and, and I mean, a truck at night, and it was driving. It was a dump truck full of gold bars, and you got to take as many as you want. Who would you call? You, you can see, if some people you want to see your list is golden, who would you call? Who's your list of resources? But listen to me. you got to make your list long and strong. When I say long and strong, a minimum of 100. Oh, sure, I don't know 100 people. Yes, you do. Now, that's what we're going to help you, but everybody knows a minimum of 100 people. You know 100 people, but you got to write down the list. Now, here's what Mr. you miss it. They're prejudging. They're already determining who will do it and who won't do it. And I'm challenged you don't do this. Now, some people say, sure, I did my list. I got some great reports. I got people who did 200 names. Some have got 150 names, 120. But guess what? Now, here's what I thought. We had 50 people. Look at this, guys. We had 60 people on the call on Monday who all did a list of a, a minimum of 100 people. Do you understand that 6,000 people in the next 30 days we're about to contact? Do you understand what's about to happen? Hey, I mean, guys, we're about to do something that's never been done. I'm so excited. That's why I'm not rushing, because I know what's about to happen. So, so we're laying the foundation. Just trust me. We're laying the foundation. You know, don't jump ahead of me. I, I trust me. I know exactly what I'm doing. But listen, you can't discriminate. you got, you got to make a minimum of 100 names. You can do more. But, but listen, the ones you think will, they won't. And once you think, well, they will. So now we've got to qualify your list. And you've heard this now. In the four steps of the back office, Mr. Iverson does a great job of talking about qualifying your list. You know, it's four or five pointers, four or five checkers. And so what we're doing is we're looking for champions, guys. We want to be successful. We're looking for champions. So what we did was we took an acronym, CHAMPS. And what it means is we gave you five, we gave you five, it's a checker, four to five checkers to kind of grade your list. Uh, I'll say seven points. But here's the thing. People who have children, children who are dependent on the income, again, it shows responsibility. Homeowners, people who own homes, H stands for homeowners, it shows, you know, uh, commitment. I mean, well, no, home ownership shows uh, stability. You know, people who are 25 and older, maturity. You know, it's not that we're not telling you not to put people on your list who are 19 or 20. We're not saying that. We're not telling you to exclude them. We're just simply saying that the people you are 25 and older, right? The M stands for married and money. You know, they make about 40000 per year. They're married. It shows uh, stability, commitment. See, guys, we got to stop looking for people who, you know, we're, we're desperate. No, guys, you got the most amazing opportunity. What we're going to help you do is develop your posture. We're not looking for people who are not working. We're not looking for people who can't afford $150. No, we're not looking. No, 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 no. We're going to help you with that up front. See, most of you, it's not that you're not doing the work. You're talking to the wrong people. So we want to help you qualify your list. Just like if you're a real estate agent, a real estate agent would not take a client out in their car to look for homes without a pre-qualification letter. They're not going to do it. So, guys, you got to feel a little bit. You say, well, no, listen, you're going to have to discriminately recruit. You're going to have to look for the best of the best. P stands for professional, entrepreneurial. They own the business. They're business owners. They're professional. Guys, stop looking for people who don't understand business. I don't want to stop. Stop trying to do three years with your leader just to talk to people. That's not the goal. You want to talk to the right people. I want to talk to people who understand business, people who travel, who are fluent, who already have entrepreneurial spirit. They're not talking about why should I spend $150. They're saying that's it. You are looking for the right people and successful. What do I mean? People who are already influential have credibility. That's it. We're looking for champions. So we broke down an acronym so now you can turn around and teach it. The C is for children, the H is for homeowner, the A is for people who are 25 and older, M is for married and money, 
the peaceful professional, entrepreneurial spirit, and the essence for successful influence. Really, it's like seven points. Now, at the point of this, we ask you to go grade your list. So, just in case some of you, I'm not going to go over and spend a lot of time on this because I did this on Monday. I did this on Monday, and I really want to get to opening up and getting questions answered. But I think it's so important that this is what you understand. On the on the on the website will be a list a memory jar for Twanda. And what happens is you can always be able to download it and you'll be able to do this with your people. Sometimes we just tell people make a list. No, 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 no. Show them. So I did this with you guys just to get you started. Once you get the person started, because their mind's gonna play tricks on them. Their mind's gonna say, I don't know nobody. Their mind's gonna be thinking about who wouldn't do it. And I'm telling you, it's natural. So you have to be a walking memory dropper, Rhonda. You have to be able to tell people, listen, who do you know who loves to travel? And be patient with them. Be patient with them. Let them take a few moments. Uh, uh, Charles and say, okay, uh, John. You say, great, write his name down. And let him think of who else. And so what happens constantly, you say, well, who do you know who, who's in there with marketing? Maybe name a couple companies. Who do you know who's in there? Uh, Anway, Legal Shield, Quick Start, Prepaid Legal. Name a few of them. Oh, I, oh, see, you're jogging their memory. Don't just give them a piece of paper and go make a list. No, show them how to make a list. That's the point I want to make. Ask them, who do you know who loves to save money? Who, do you, who cuts coupons? Give me examples. Who you know who loves to make money? See, your job is to jog your memory. They'll think about people right now. Y'all think about people right now. Oh, I forgot to put them down. Guess what happened? Who's the most ambitious person you know outside of yourself? They just, they're full of life. They're ambitious. They got the most amazing personality. Who do you know who speaks another language? Who do you, I mean, who do you know who speaks Spanish? Who do you know who speaks Italian? You know? Who do you know who's your neighbor? Who's your neighbor? Who's your next door neighbor? Where you live before that? Who's your neighbor? See, see, I'm asking those type of questions this morning. I, I, this bell, see, what I want to know is, okay, you went to college? Yeah, where'd you go to school at? Now, when you do this, it gets you to know them more. Don't just say, make a list. Ask some questions about them. Say, well, where'd you go to school? Oh, I went to Hampton. Oh, really? I'm sure that that's all. Man, you went to, okay, great. Let me ask you, who's your, who's your roommate? Oh, what about your sophomore year? You had the same roommate? Who's your roommate's boyfriend? See, see, if I can, I help you think about people you forgot about. Who's your best friend? Did you have the same best friend in middle school? Did you have that? See, see, guys, who, who do you know who's a pharmaceutical sales rep? No, who, who do you know who's a real estate broker? Who does your hair? Who's a beautician? Who does? Who cuts your son's hair, Belinda? See, who, who's your family physician? Who do you know works at the post office? See, guys, I love doing that, and I never get past that because people will swear up and down. I don't know anybody, and I'm telling you as a leader, you have to take time out and say, all right, pull out a sheet of paper. Don't get frustrated. They're gonna tell you, I don't know nobody. Guess what? They got to renew their mind, you know. But my point being is, everybody can come with a hundred names. Now, let's move forward. What happens is, you're going to get organized. So many of you typed up your list, and that's great. I got people sending them to me. But what I would encourage you is, yeah, I don't, I don't need your list. You're going to send me your list to show that you did it. You're going to send me a list. And I'm going to check it off. Say, okay, they did this. But please understand, I made my own list. I ain't got time to call your list. Listen to me. I can help you. You want to have a running list. What I'm saying is you want to continue to add to your list. You want to continue to keep adding to your list. You're never going to stop making a list. This is one thing you will always continue to do over and over and over. You're never going to stop making a list. Having said that, you're going to continue to look for champions. So you're going to continue to grade your list, you know, putting points by it. You're going to, guess what? Every, I said every dude. Every dude. <laughs> every dude knows a stud, right? So here's what's going to happen, guys. When you make a list, don't get discouraged. What if they don't do it? Well, guess what? They'll become a comment. Well, what if they don't do it? Maybe they'll refer somebody else to you. They may not know, but maybe they may know somebody who is interested. See, it's just not about, see, we miss it. we got to have the right mindset. See, you got to just focus on doing the work and let the results take care of themselves. Or they'll become your business partner. But what I do know is you'll miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So guess what? You should be excited about making a list. Now, this is what's key. What's key is your posture. Your posture is, is so key, guys. This is going to be the difference. See, your, your, you can make the list, but without belief, your list is no good. Huh? Hold up, shut up, I'm confused. Let me slow down and make sure you understand. Yes, you did the first step, and, and really the first step was your commitment to your goals and dreams, your commitment to success. You signed that letter. The next thing as you signed that letter, that's what you focused on right now in your why, why you're doing this. You begin to discover who you're doing it for, what has you. Right? You begin to write that down. You begin to make specific, measurable, obtainable, realistic, timely goals and, and expectations. You said expectations were realistic. So you did your smart goals. You're going to fill out that sheet, and you're going to take time to do that so that you know why you're doing this. 
set goals so you know why you're doing this. But now you made your list. Now, I want you to understand this. Your list without posture is no good. You made the list, but guys, without belief, without you coming across as, as, as very confident, as being believable, the list is no good. See, when you call the people, you got to be convicted. you got to be convinced. You can't sound like, do you want to look at this? No, 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 guys. you got to be excited. you got to be enthusiastic. you got to be motivated. you got to believe that this is the vehicle, vacation travel, that's going to take you to your wealthy place. you got to believe that. That's why I had you do the first. That's why you got to do the first test first. Because once you do that homework, now the list is going to be easy. Also, we got to just go now contact people. It's rapid fire. It's doing a lot of work. But, you, but see, you can't do that if you don't lay the foundation. See, you, you can't just be in vacation. Vacation's got to be in you. See, if you, you, you get around a Jackie Pippers, you'll know that, guess what, it's in her. You get around a Shanaz Lassant, you'll know whatever it's in her. You get around some leaders, the Tim and Shanaz, you'll know it's in them. They're not different, but their belief is different. See, people got to believe that you believe this is it. You got, you're going to come across as almost cocky. You're going to come across as so arrogant. See, a lot of you, when you talk to people, your posture is weak, and that's why you're not getting the results, because you're trying it, as opposed to saying, oh, this is something I'm doing. I'm going to spend the rest of my life. See, see, guys, people want to follow somebody who's committed. They'll join somebody who's committed, but you can't be flaky. You can't be wishy-washy. You, you, that's why I said your list. You can have a list. You can have the best list in the world, but without belief, your list ain't no good. See, see guys, you got to have belief. And where do you borrow your leader's belief until you get belief? That's why you're going to be relying on your success coach. You're going to be, but, but guess what, guys? you got to place an exclamation mark where well, you got a question mark. You gotta place an exclamation mark. That's why they say that's what go through your website and that's gonna come up later. That's why they say the four steps. Don't worry about the order. Just understand it. That's why you gotta go through your website and become familiar. That's why you gotta book a trip. That's why you why? Because you gotta get your belief up. You gotta get your posture up. So now when we begin to contact the people, you confident. When you begin to contact the people, you, you, you don't feel like they told you no. You like and you know, I don't ever say this. I'm just saying this is what you're thinking, but you're like, that one, dummy. I mean, I mean, you would never say that, but that's the way you feel. Like, dude, that's your fault. Okay, if you want to pay full price on travel, I don't care. See, it's, it's your posture, it's your confidence, it's your swag. Guys, that's the only difference. The only difference, the reason why you didn't hit international, is because you walk around defeated. You walk around, no, you got to be bold. You got to be, you got to be like just confident. You know, if you ever hear Jack, Jackie will tell you when she announces, I'm the biggest, I'm the baddest. That, that's what she believes. And guess what? You can't tell her she ain't. But that's why she'll talk to anybody. But see, you won't talk to them because you don't believe it. Your belief, the belief is the key. If you ever listen to Mark Marcus Stone and talk, he's going to talk about your belief. It's the key factor. You got the list? Oh, sure, I made the list. I made 100. But without belief, your list ain't no good. So I hope I made that point. Now, having said that, here's what's going to happen. We're going to get you to take this list because you're going to grade the list. You're going to grade the list. And on this list, you're going to have people who are seven-pointers, six, five. And, and I'm not saying that they're not a five-pointer or a six-pointer or seven-pointer, that they're no good, because they could be two-pointers but be just ready, hungry and ready to go. But what I am saying is you're about to develop your board of directors. The reason you're going to develop your board of directors is what you're doing is isolating. you got 200 names, but, guys, I want you to not focus. You want to identify your top 25, your top 30, your top what, – what happens is another form. And this form is simply designed to help you focus. There's two of them. There's one with a male and one with a female. If you're a male, take the one that's a male. If you're a female, use the one that's a female. Your name goes up top in, in 10 because you're permanent. Well, guess what? You take your initial 10 and you put them in pencil and you just put the name in. Don't get caught up in, i got to put a male with a male. Just put the top 10 people who you want to talk to and put them in pencil underneath. Now, you see where this has those other names, those other lists? What you're going to do is with that part, you're going to fill in alternates. Because when you got a goal, the goal is we're going to contact these people in the, sh in the shortest amount of time with posture and belief and, and confidence. And what's going to happen is we're going to expose them to the business. And, and, and we're going to expose them to the business. And so what happens is I'm just trying to paint the picture. And, again, we're going to open up for any questions you have. So we're going to, we're going to take time. If you got questions, you know, you say, well, I'm not understanding something, I promise you we're going to open up so that you can get your questions answered. But what we're going to do is focus on attracting the leaders first. That's what's going to happen. We got the list. And everybody on your list, guess what? Some deserve, they want to book travel. Some want to, but we're going to focus on your leaders first. Remember I said what you focus on grows? We're going to focus on attracting your leaders, your core people first. So when you call them because your posture, your belief is there, they got to, this is not a regular phone call. 
they got a sense of this is not business as usual. See, Tawana, they got to they got to understand that. Wait a minute, there's something going on. See, half the battle is when you're calling and you're confident, you're bold, and you're you know that that's the battle. You, you got to be a promise and listen, you know, and don't worry about say that again, Greg. Don't don't worry about trying to memorize what I'm saying. Let's record it. But it's really I need you to understand your posture when you call. I call Greg. I said, Greg, he, he's a friend of mine. I said, Greg, listen, man, are you in a place where we can talk business? He says, Yes. I said, Shit. Greg, listen, we got an unspoken rule. I've been knowing you for 20 years. we got an unspoken rule. If, if, if something comes along that can change our family's life, you're going to tell me, right? Man, yes. And, and if something comes along, if I come across something, you want me to tell you, right? Yeah. Greg, let's that call. I found, see, see, it's not what you say. It's how you say it. It's your confidence. It's your boldness. It's, it's the, this is it. See, if they decide it isn't for them right now, you got to move them out that spot because you focus on your goals. Your goal is, I'm going to get me 10 people this week. I'm going to get me five people this week. I'm going to get me, that's your goal. So guess what? You're going to be intentional about contacting these specific people. So, oh, well, should I, I work the job. Well, guess what? On your lunch hour, you're going to know who you got to call. Well, I just don't have a lot of time. Guess what? The time that you have, you got to do income-producing activity. So we're not going to change your goal. We're going to change our effort. We're going to adjust our effort. So let me quickly move on. Because we're going to open up, I promise you, we're moving. So, I told you this. I'm just giving you a couple more slides. Posture is the key. See, see Phoebe, posture is the key. What's posture? It's your attitude. It's your confidence. It's your stance. What is posture? you got to posture up. Guys, we got to posture up. See, this is, now, you're calling people again. You're doing a list. So, this is not people in the yellow pages. This is not people that you don't know. It's not just because you got a lot of con Facebook contacts. See, many of you want to go try to contact the people you don't know and, and you get frustrated. You don't have a relationship with them anyway. Your relationship is with people that you built, that you went to school with, that you worked with. That's where your relationship is. And I'm not telling you not to prospect, and we're going to talk about that later on. I'm not telling you not to prospect. I'm not telling you not to be on guard to meet people. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying this is what's duplicatable. It's called relationship marketing for a reason. Because you're marketing to your, your, your just network marketing. You're marketing to your network. You're talking to people you have a relationship with. If there was something that was so magical that could just get people to sign up, then the company would need you. They hired you as an independent, they let you come on as an independent contractor so that you could talk to people that you have a relationship with. And they're going to pay you based on your relationship. So your posture is the key. Look, let them know you're working on a major project. You're putting together a team. And you couldn't imagine putting together this team without them being a part of it. See, see guys, talk to them from your heart. Let them know, I need your help. Man, I'm putting together a team. I need, I, I, I need somebody I trust. I need somebody. See, let them know. But, but here's the point. We know that you're going to get paid $50 or $70 when they join. So I don't know why you, you know, but how is this going to benefit them? But paint a picture, they partner with you. See, when, when Mr. Bradley talked to me, he talked about my future. Shut up, if you follow me, I see you're the woman you've ever made in your life. See, but to get them to understand what they're going to be a part of, why they need to be a part of your team, right? So, again, I challenge you, you're going to get this form, you download it. This is what's going to allow you to stay focused, because guess what? Now, when we talk about your core 10 or the top people, we're going to talk about, I'm going to ask you, did you contact them this week? How many did you contact? You can't only contact call for one this week. Now, don't call nobody yet. I'm just kind of preparing you. I'm preparing you for what we're going to call. You're going to have some things to do in between. And so the things that you do, just trust me, it's going to move rapid fire. I know you, I need to call people. No, 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 no. You need to be prepared so when you call people, you get the right results. See, science, it's all about results. That's what we're measuring. She's showing we're measuring results. Siobhan, it's results. It's not just doing stuff to be doing it. I don't want you in, in ISC because you just want to get on in here. And no, I want you to get results. I want you to become international. I want you to win. And I understand if you do the work, you're going to get the results. So it's going to allow you to focus. Now, let me move on. Comfort phrases. Taking people's interests. You're going to get confident, and I'm not talking about to your brothers and sisters. I mean, you know, those people, guess what? You can't come across and sound scripted. But guess what, guys? I do believe in scripts. I, I think everything's a script. You know, if, if everybody who's successful, they say the same thing over and over. you got to find what you believe in, and we do have a sheet of comfort phrases that you can download. Uh, and, and guess what? You find the ones that fit you. You customize it to fit you. But I, I love our Spencer I, or Mark or one of them say this. He said, know what you know about Expedia. Would you invest in them 10 years ago, 15 years ago? And everybody you talk to says, yes. They say, I got something bigger. See, that's peaking their interest. So, again, think about it. If you listen to the, 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 the four-step process, 
it's the PS3, peak interest. You got a peak interest. What is peak interest? You got to be able to confidently say something that's going to get people to say, yes, I want to know more. That sounds great. Tell me more. What is it? So you're so busy about, no, 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 you, you're going to be organized. You're going to go down your list. You're going to be specific, and you're going to pique people's interest. So you're going to ask them, you're going to ask Bernice, you're going to say, Bernice, let me ask you a question. If it was possible for you to make an extra $1,500 to $3,000 a month where you could work from home, is that something you'd like to know more about? You know, they're going to say, yes. You're going to say, Tracy, let me ask you a question. She's going to say, what's up? If I know what she can make an extra fifteen hundred to three thousand dollars a month, where you working from home? Is that something you'd like to know more about? She's gonna say yes. See, you, you're gonna go. You're gonna say, Joanne, can I ask you a question? She's gonna say, What's up, Joanne? If it was possible for you to make an extra fifteen hundred to three thousand dollars a month, where you could work from home, is that something you'd like to know about? Yeah. See, I could go on and on. If I went down my list and I had a hundred people asking the same thing, some people would say, Well, no, I'm okay. That's why I'm not gonna stop because that one person said no or said nah. I'm gonna keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over. See, it's not that you don't have the people, it's you're scared you don't know what to say to the people. And because you're scared you don't know what to say to the people, you get to making a presentation instead of an invitation. Your job is to invite them to pique their interest, and once they're interested, point them to a, show them the plan. That's where we're going to get disciplined, I guess, with piquing the interest and showing the plan. So, having said that, let's see. The next slide. Uh, actually, this slide is out of order, but here's what happens. There's another document. I mean, says, wait a minute, where did I get all these documents? They're going to be uploaded on the site. Ain't this all? So what happens is, guess what, you got this list of names. So make sure you're not confused. It's not a lot of paperwork. It's just helping you organize. You don't have to use it. You may have another method. But I'm, I'm, I made these available so that you could use them. This is a tracking sheet. What's a tracking sheet? Have you ever found yourself and talked to so many people, and I just I, I forgot to call this person back or this person? This is what the tracking sheet is for. The tracking sheet is once you get a person, you pick the interest, you take them from the long list, and you pick the interest, and they say, I'm interested, and they, and they say, I'm looking at the business. Once you, they say they're looking, you put them on this sheet so that you can keep track of where they're at. And all that simply has their name and their exposure date. When did you expose them? Did you do a three-way phone call, yes or no? So guess what? If you look down the list, and I got ends, ends by all those people you did a three-way phone call, so we know what the issue is. Did, it, did you get them on a presentation? What type of presentation? Was it a launch call? Was it a webinar? Was it a presentation? See, they're, they're tools. Did you do validation? Did you put them on the phone? What's validation? You might put them on, let's say they're a teacher. You might put them on the phone with a Jelana George. Let's say they're a single parent, um, a, a mom. You might put them on the phone with a, a Schnauzer Society. See, you're validating the business. You're putting them in. That's what validation is. Three-way phone call is talk to you. But validation, maybe you put them on the phone with somebody who just validates. If they're in the music industry, I might put them on the phone with Tawanda Chambly or, or Travis Knuckles. Why? Because I'm validating. Oh, you know, so guess what? Did they, did they join? They're a new partner. Yes. Now, what's their, what was their, when, when do I follow up? What's the later date they follow up? They said follow up. And so guess what? I'm not missing people. But guess what? They, they, do they want to build, be a business builder? Do they want to build travel? See, guys, I just want you to understand. You got this big list of names that you, you did. Once we get you prepared and you, you start picking an interest, you got to extract the people who are interested from the people who are not interested. So that's why I created this tracking sheet. The tracking sheet is, the tracking sheet is simple so you can move people once they're interested in looking at the business so you can stay focused. Because the biggest thing is not the fortunes and the follow-up. I can't tell you how many people that I talked to and they're interested, but I lost track. Oh, I forgot to call them back. Oh, and then your mind plays tricks on you, then you don't want to call them back. Because you say, oh, I told them I was going to call them on this date, and I didn't. This will allow you to stay organized. So guys, Really, I just want you to understand, that's why I'm explaining it. So when you get the forms, you're not bombarded with paperwork. That's not the goal. I'm not trying to get you bombarded with paperwork. I'm trying to help you be more efficient and effective so it saves you time. So now as you get this sheet and you're talking to your leader about who's in play, and, hey, I got this person. See, you want to be specific. You want to be organized. That's the goal. The goal is that, you you know, you can get people focused on, you, you can be focused and get people. So, man, that's our desire. That's our goal. Now, I'm going to wrap up with this. These are tools. Again, I'm a firm believer that you don't get put somebody on something you hadn't listened to. Guys, go ahead and listen to the three-minute sizzle call. You don't know who to put on the sizzle call. I'm not telling you the sizzle call for everybody, but it's a great tool, and it's the three minutes to keep people's interest. Guess what? Well, they're not available at 9 o'clock to get on the webinar or to get on the call. That's what, but there's an on-demand business over here. Have you listened to it? See, this is the work I was talking about earlier. When I first started, you can't expect it to get the results of being willing to do the work. See the launch call. Now, the numbers change. This is the old number, so don't use this flyer. Go to your back office and get the, the new number, the regular number. But launch calls, 
again, you got to know your which tool to use. Uh, again, there's videos. Shinaba has Shinab Design uh, has an amazing video. There's 20 minutes. The company's coming out with a push and play. There's a five minute sizzle video in your back office. There's a 14 minute video. The four step demand system. I encourage you to listen to it. See, now what I'm doing is breaking this down. We're getting prepared. We're getting equipped. I know everybody want to jump out there. Let me call people. Let me call people. I need you to do your list. I need you to grade your list. Guess what? We're going to get you equipped to talk to everybody. But you know what I need you to do? I need you to do your goals and dreams. I need you to do your why. I, I need you to. To, to get commit, sign a commitment letter. I need you to get prepared. So guess what? When we start calling people, we get them as results. So you can say, I contacted 20 people today, and I can say, well, what happened? Or your sponsor could say, well, what was the results? This is what the results. See, we're going to measure results. That's what the ISC is going to be, measuring results, not effort. I mean, we're, we're going to put the effort in, but we're going to measure results. What did you? What, what was the result what you did? Right? So, mm, let me see. Is there anything else? Okay. This is the last two things. This is really the last thing, and then I, I want to open up for questions. On the four-step process, one of the things that says become a product of a product. This is how you build up your beliefs and confidence. You take a training. Now, everybody on this call should have already taken a training. But why am I going over this with you? Because you're going to be developing new people, and you got to know what to tell them. See, it's important. That what are they doing in the process? They're taking the training. See, most of you still busy trying to rush people to do everything in a day. No, no, no. Help people. See, I'm not rushing. Trust me, I know we got 90 days. I know we got uh, uh, 87 days. I know it's the third. But I'm not concerned about you rushing to do something. I'm concerned about you having understanding so you know why you're doing it and you can be efficient and effective when you do it. You can get results. And, and I'm just taking the time to show you so you can turn around and show somebody else. I'm not just trying to rush you for the sake of, oh, we got 80, 90 days. No, no, no. That's more than enough time. I'm confident we got more than enough time. I'm, I'm excited. But you need to take your training. You need to become certified. You need to make sure everybody on your team that comes in, you instruct them to do the same thing. Hey, you need to take the training. And then guess what? When they complete their training, did you know they save fifty dollars off convention registration? You need to get them registered for convention. But guess what? They need to take their training and, and they save fifty dollars. Now, when they take their training, they put the picture up, they open up their vendor list. You need to be able to show them the difference. I also want you to say, stop telling people. Take take time to walk them through and show them. Take time, take it don't take a lot of time, but walk them through their website. Don't don't have your team do anything you're not willing to show them how to do. Well, Shut up telling me, but if you duplicate yourself, guess what? You ain't got to do it for everybody. You do it, and then you the people that you do it for, you show them. You put the responsibility in them. Hey, walk this person. Well, do what I did for you. So if I helped you make your list, I want you to turn around and help that new person we brought in. You make their list. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. Everything I show you, I want you to turn around and show your team. This is what you, this is what I want you to do. Because what you do, that's what your people are going to do. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to duplicate our efforts. Take take your back straight. Take a fam trip. Come familiarize with your website. Market and promote your business and find your niche, guys. Real simple things. Work on your PowerPoint. Guys, start pointing people to your website. That's what you can do. Let, let you know. That's what you put on Facebook. Hey, did you put your website up there? Put a great travel deal up there. You know, put put something up there so it attracts people. But what I'm talking about, those are people you don't. Want. That's the people you don't know. I, I ain't telling you to just try to put a, a mass email out. No, no, I want you to call the people you know. Just send your site up on your website. That's the people you don't know. You'll get people to inbox you and, uh, and hey, tell me more about that. That I, You can do that all day long because you're still prospecting. There are more people you don't know than you do know. But I need you to understand so many people want to focus on the people they don't know, and, and that's not efficient and effective. Yes, you will meet a superstar sometime. Yes, you can find somebody who's a Facebook friend and they can watch you and they can join your business. That's the exception to the rule more than the rule. So, guys, be comfortable with your business and work on your PowerPoint. Don't be a secret agent. Let people know that you're in business, right? And I think that's the last slide. Open up your vendor list, and uh, that, that's the last slide. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to go down, and I, first of all, I want to take questions. I want to take any questions. If you have a question, go ahead and uh, raise your hand. If I see your hand raised, I'm going to actually unmute your mic and, uh, and have you let you ask your question. So sign your film so I see you got your hand raised, and I want to find out. Sign your day. What question you have? Sign your day. Okay, she don't have a question no more. Uh, sign your brown has a question. Sign your mind. How you doing? I'm good. I didn't have a question. I was trying to <laughs> um, put my hand down. I'm sorry. No problem. No problem. I'm looking to see if anybody got any questions. 
This is where you get to ask any questions about anything we discussed. Any questions. Now, I know this is going to come up again. I'm finishing up the document size, you know. <laughs> I'm finishing up the documents, and I will be finished tonight. When I finish these documents tonight, they're going to be uploaded, I promise you. Because he, he just told me, he said, well, where's the documents? I said, I want to finish them all up so I don't, I don't give them to you piece by piece. I want to give them to you all. Mr. Eric Hoffman, I'm about to unmute your phone. How you doing? What questions you got? Um, good evening. Can you hear me? I can hear you loud and clear. All right. Um, just how soon can we download the documents? Would you just answer that question? Uh, within within uh, 48 hours. I would say 24, but within 48 hours. I can, I can assure you. Because really, I'm a, when I finish, he's waiting on me. He, he's waiting on me. So I have the documents done. It's just two or three more I want to do. And once I complete them, I'm going to send him all the documents at the same time. And so I don't want to piece it and give him, send him one thing and then turn around and send him another thing. So he's with me. So I'm right. confident it be within 24 to 48 hours. Hello. Right. Um, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for getting off. Okay. Mr. Desmond Donaldson, I'm about to unmute your phone. Desmond Donaldson, how you doing, sir? I'm fantastic. I'm on top of the world, brother. I got a question. Uh, can you give the, the website again where we're going to be able to uh, – Upload those documents, uh, Cedric. This is the project. The same doc site you went to is Project ISC. Uh, what, what I am going to do, though, I, I will tell you this: we, we'll send out an email. Uh, but Project ISC, I, I purchased the domain name International Flight Campaign, so I'm probably going to switch it out and make the webinar Project ISC. But just to keep it simple, ProjectISC.com. Whenever I make that switch, I'm going to send out a mass email. You'll know. But if you go to ProjectISC.com. That's where the site that you're going to be able to upload everything. The site that you register, the site, everything's going to be in that one site. So that'll be the site that you use to download. Fair okay. enough. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm looking to see if anybody else got questions. And then I'm, I got questions for everybody. So hold up, I got a couple people. Okay, I got the Johnsons. Pleasure on Janet Johnson. You can phone them. You phone them. How you doing? How you doing? Hey, 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 got an echo. I'm going to come back to you. Ms. Rhonda Marquette, your phone's on mute. You had a question. Okay. Ms. Marquette, are you there? I'm going to come back to the Johnson. Do you have a question? Yeah, Shudder, can you hear us? Hold on. Okay, can you hear us now? Absolutely. Turn that off. Yes. Um, once we finish revising our list, I mean, we might have forwarded, you, forwarded a list to you, but once we add to the list or what have you, do you want us to send you the final list? And I know you said don't talk to anybody or anybody as far as um, calling. Will you let us know, I guess, in this process when we can start calling people? Or will I, the person that's helping us? Absolutely. The, the, okay. And I'm glad you said that. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I, honestly, by Friday, when we, we're going to do another webinar, I, I might have to talk to almost everybody. So I want you to do the list. I just, I really want you all to kind of be equipped, and I want to make sure i got all questions answered in the comfort phrases you've been able to download it. Many of you are already seasoned, so you already talk to people. Many of you are already leaders. You're training people. So when I say that, here's really what I want you all to understand. When you have brand new people, what, what we do is set, and I'm glad you said that, when we have brand new people, what we actually do is sometimes set them up for failure. We let them in there. I'm talking to people, and they're not equipped. And, and what happens is when they talk to the wrong person, it, it, it destroys them, and so they can never have them long enough to really show them how to do it. I want to be involved in the process. Obviously, I can't make calls with everybody. But what I am saying that is I'm not restricting the season better. Man, you can start calling your list. But the people who are brand new and, you you know, I want to be there with them to assist them. So, okay. So I'm, I'm consistent with what I'm saying from a standpoint, but really what I'm showing you is what I do with a brand-new person. 
again, many of you are seasoned, so you're already doing presentations. You can do, I'm not telling you to wait to, you know, right. to, to hold off. But what I am saying is really it's the new people that you bring in that you got to be responsible. And sometimes we just, all right, go talk to people. Well, they ain't equipped. They don't know what they're saying. You, you, you see what I'm saying? So yeah. once you listen to a sizzle call, I'm not telling you you can't get a sizzle call out to somebody saying, check this out, or you got to wait to put them on a the launch call. You know, that would seem like, well, I'm, I'm confused. Don't be confused. I just want you to understand why I say that. Once we get you equipped and we get you to do your list and we kind of get you comfortable, I want you to talk to everybody. I want you to pique the interest, but I want I want to help you get to that point so that you're equipped and you're not um, just thrown out there. So okay. does that make sense? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, let me see questions. I got all these question marks. So I'm going to answer these. Um, the webinar, let me see something. I got a couple questions I can answer. Uh, the question is, how soon can we download that was answered? Uh, I do have a question. That's something else. Yes, that's email. If you, um, we want you to sign up for a Gmail email account. We still have some people who bounce back and, we're, and we actually made a separate list of those who bounce back. I'm contacting you to say, hey, listen, we need a new email address. If you said I haven't received anything, it's because we don't have a good email address for you. Um, uh, how much my link kind of complete the IC training? It looks like, uh, okay. Yeah, y'all, everybody will be able to get a copy of the webinar. I, I recorded it, so. You can be able to go up and look at them. So if you're part of IFC, every webinar we do, training, we're going to send it to you and make it available. So you can download it. Again, we're not trying to restrict you. Let me just make sure you understand this, too. Each you made an investment of $25. So because you made an investment, I closed it out because, again, at some point, you just, I, I'm not, I wasn't trying to get, uh, and I'm not saying this because y'all know this. It wasn't the $25. It was a commitment that you said, hey, I want to help you out. So that's why we charge $25. But it's not fair. So what I'm doing is, I'm committed to you guys. I'm committed to my entire team. So I'm not restricting the team. I'm not saying you can't share it with your team. They just don't have it. They, they have access to me, but for the IFC, I don't, you know, they can watch the webinar. They can watch. I don't want people who are not having paid to be. I don't want somebody who's paid to be locked out. So that's why I, I, I kind of keep it for the people who are in. I want my whole team to win. And I hope y'all can see, man, we get trained and we get the whole team trained and everybody's trained to know what to do. And now you're going back and training your own team and you're confident you know what to do. This thing going to explode like, like I mean, it's going to be amazing. So what we're doing is laying the foundation, and we're going to measure the results. I'm going to hold you accountable. Everything I'm doing with you, I want you to do with your team. I don't want you to wait and say, well, you got to get in the next class. No. You need to be teaching your team now. Don't wait. Teach them now. But I want you to understand, you guys have paid, so it's not, I'm not going to just put it on Facebook and tell it on my team, because guess what? Now when somebody can't get on, they're going to say, well, wait a minute. I paid, and I can't get on. That's what I don't want to happen. So I need you to understand, I'm not trying to restrict anybody or – you can send a webinar and let them know, but they can't get on. The reason they can't get on is because the people who pay have a right to get on. And I don't want them to get kicked out because, you know, I have people that if they get out there, there'll be people waiting on the team that get on. Oh, they want information, and they're going to apply it and do it. So I just want you to understand that, that we're not trying to restrict people from the standpoint of, I don't want them to know something that's a secret. No, we want to tell everybody. But because you guys have paid, you got access. And because you got access, I want you to know. Uh, Mr. Sample, let me see. We're supposed to have four appointments a week. But if someone in another city is scheduled to go out, but they show up, does that count for it? Again, thank you so much. When we get to what's going to happen when we, next week, we're going to put up the forms and everything, but you're going to be held accountable to the amount of appointments. So minimum, and I'm glad you asked that question, Ms. Shamblin, minimum, you're going to have four appointments a week. Getting a person on a, keeping a person's interest is keeping an interest. But showing them the business, whether it's one-on-one, -on -one, whether it's you doing a webinar, whether it's you're getting them on a conference call, anything that gives them the information that they can make a decision at the end to say, I'm ready, is constituted as an appointment. You're going to be required to give the people that you do appointments for, you're going to be required to give people. So if you get somebody out in another city, that would count for an appointment, whether you did it or not. If they went out, they started a business plan in another city, went to another travel party, that would count as an appointment. So to answer your question, if somebody went to another city and saw it, that would count for one of your four. Um, if you're sending over the list, um, 
you send it to Vacation Diamond Team at gmail.com. That's Vacation Diamond Team at gmail.com. I do have a lot of questions. Now, I'll simply download, I'm just reading real quick, guys, and then we're going to conclude this. Now, what I'm about to do is this. I'm about to go down, and what I would love for you to do, you can actually type it in. I want to know what, how many you came up with. with it. Those who made your list, those who was able to do their list, don't don't try to just just be honest. It ain't. It, I don't need you to try. To, I came up with 300 because I'm gonna ask for it, you know. But my point is this: I want to know. I, I asked. I want to find out who came up with the highest list or the most names. So what I want you to do is type in. I'm gonna look at it. I'm taking the next one because I, I, I was gonna open up everybody's mic. I wasn't gonna open up everybody's mic and say how many did you get. It's too many of y'all. But what I would love for you to do is in, that, in this box, type in how many you came up on your list. I mean, how many uh, how many names you came up with. So I want to know how many names you came up with. Uh, two, 325, that's awesome, 135, 110, 132, 87. I need you to get, get to 100. If you didn't get 100, 274, that's phenomenal. 132, 125, 101, 118, 107, 115, 219, 300 names, 345, 115, 224, and still building, 106, 96, get to 100, 176, 515. That's what I'm talking about, yes. 176, 172, 255, 275, 222. I mean, y'all are studs. Uh, 217, 184, 140. Y'all are superstars. Y'all understand what's about to happen in organization. It's just strictly math. Yeah, I, I appreciate you. 75, I'm still working. You can do it. I promise you, you can do it. If you need help, anybody who's not at 100, but you need help, you can call me, and I will assist you because you're going to get to 100. That's the first level of fulfillment. And then if you do it, you're going to hold your people to a standard. I want 84, 140, 110, 290, 110. I'm just so proud of this group. You guys are telling me you're going to, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, again, 110. Um, so I do it this way. Let me do the roll call. Tress McDowell, 121. Don Brown, 325. Uh, Sonny Phillips, 145. Angela uh, Obero, I apologize for messing up your name, Angela. Forgive me, 132. Uh, Tawana Shanley, 274. If you're not at 100, I'm not going to read your name because you're going to do 100. Uh, Felicia Guzman, 132. Alice Williams, 125. Tanisha Turner, 112. Reverend Janet, 115. Ms. Walter Hammond, 101. So proud of you. Uh, Alfred Ingram, 118. Letra Lewis, 107. Paris Jackson, 115. Rhonda Marte, 219. Trudy Scott, 300. Michelle Anderson, 345. Charles Boyd, 145. Marcy Crawford, 224, and still building. That's right. Thompson Leftwich, 106. Charles Anderson, 176. Jason Lynn, I messed up your name. Uh, forgive me, just in. Uh, 515. You showing up. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Sharon Menden, 176. Tisha Shields, 172. Sharon Gibbons, 255. Eric Hawkins, 275. Venetia Boyd, 222. Gail Johnson, 217, Siobhan Lo uh, Robles, 184, Adele Grant, 140, Cynthia Scott, 110, Sarita Orr, 290, Sonia Brown, 110, Belinda Lane, 110, Eric Robinson, 153, Desmond Donaldson, 100, Nicoya Johnson, 120, Don Ogden, 114, Erica Lamb, 113, uh, Belinda Harris, 150, Tamika Booker, 218, uh, Joanne Carwright, 100. Janae, Renee Houghton, 103. Roderick Clark, 149. Uh, and uh, 109. Guys, phenomenal. I mean, we're about to do something crazy. Trust me, we're we going to hit this. We're going to hit the list. Y'all going to get ready to call everybody. 134 for Sharon Combs. But, guys, just understand, we're working on the process. And um, um, and I agree with you, Richard. You will get to 100. So anybody who's not at 100, again, you can call me. You say, Shuck, I don't have your number. I'm about to give you my number. It's 404-895-2120. Our job is we want everybody to build 100. Guess what? Because we win Noble 110. Congratulations. Great job. Uh, we want everybody to be over 100. So we are going to do another webinar on Friday. Uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of prepare you all. tell you on Friday it's going to be comfort phrases. We're going to go over comfort phrases, and we're going to go over a couple of uh, Comfort phrase and things like that, we're going to get you prepared to make phone calls so that you can start accountability next week. So for those who need help with comfort phrases, I, now listen to me. I'm going to make Friday optional. Now the reason I'm making it optional is because I'm going to encourage you to get on. 
But I really want to go over a couple of phrases, and I'm really going to go through the different tools. I'm going to go over like the sizzle call, go over things like that. So I say that to let you know that if you've been through all the tools and you know them and you know how to use them, it's not necessary. If you just want to get on the list, I'm going to record it. So Friday is optional. I will be doing a webinar. And the only reason it's optional is because I'm going over comfort phrases, piquing people's interest. I'm going to make it more hands-on. But we will record it. So if you got family night with your Friday, with your family, or you got a movie night or date night, you can still do that. You're not obligated and bonded. It's not understand. But we are preparing because next week you're going to get ready to call all these different people. We're going to be preparing them, equipping them. So, guys, it's going to be a great, great event. I'm just really excited. Thank you so much. This is recorded. I will send it out via email as well. And the documents will be uploaded uh, within 48 hours. So you'll have access over the weekend to grab all of them that you need, uh, which you should look for is the list, uh, the tracking sheet. You should look for the, uh, the list, the tracking sheet, the, uh, the board of directors list, the commitment of success, and i got to still do the dreams and goal sheet, but smart goals. And, and you're going to work on those. Guys, again, don't rush to just write stuff down. Be serious and intentional. Write down your smart goals. Be, take time to do that. Your, your goals are going to take time to do that. Be, really do that because when you do that, I promise you, don't worry about it. You ain't got to wait to get the sheet to start working on it. You can start working on it now. When you get the sheet, you can transfer it. So don't like, well, I got to wait. No, start working on it now. Your goals and dreams being specific. And then when the sheets come, just fill it in. Or, you know, uh, uh, move it over. Guys, I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you so much for your time. I'm eight minutes over time, but um, we're going to our wealthy place. So, yeah, have a great night. We'll see you at the top. The bottom's too crowded.